oop, oop. Y'all know the drill. We're about to do this thing big time. I'm filling up gas tonight. We're gonna put 4.6 gallons in here. And now that we got that very efficient prop on there that I flew two hours on, uh, sorry, I flew three and a half hours on two gallons, we're gonna see how far I can fly on 4.6 gallons tomorrow. It will be very interesting tomorrow. Need to get some books downloaded actually. But, you know, I'm going for seven plus. Oh yeah, that's full right there. Can't see any air bubbles either. I tilted it to all the bubbles from over here. Whoop, came on over, filled it up more. The goods. Just checked my ring camera at home and a big old bear just walked across my porch in the same direction that it tore into my house siding. So really hoping it's not currently tearing into my house because nobody's there to stop it. Uh, I'll show you all a video right here. I just downloaded the ring footage, but yeah, really hoping it's not trying to open up the wall again, which it's opened up two of my sheds at this point. Let there be light. All right, enough recording. Let's start to get this crap out, man. Should be up right about sunrise. This is the moment of truth if I can grab my A's. <laughs> Lots of stuff in my way. Um, but yeah, 627. I think that's a little bit after sunrise, actually. Nice no winder. Give it some up. Let's do the darn thing. We are off the ground. Look at that sunrise coming up. Oh, man. Jeez. In the fog in the valleys. Wow. This is going to be quite the day. Alright, I'm full power climbing. Well, getting the scout bag done. That way, access the camera for this beautiful flight. Beautiful sunrise. It's funny, I told Andrew Fuller what I was doing today. He was nice enough to just give me a text right now, just for like right after I launch. I don't even know. Maybe he was just guessing I'd be launching at sunrise, but. <laughs> and his text prompted me to trim in all the way. So these other field tests I've been doing have been at the green line. But the goal today is just to fly for a really long time. So I've decided to trim all the way in. <laughs> and we'll find out if I fly a ridiculously ridiculous amount of time. But just crossing over the Green River Bridge here. Absolutely gorgeous morning. There's a little bit of bumpiness over these hilltops, but Golly, it's gorgeous. It's it's smooth bumps, nothing to be worried about, so I'm loving it. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful morning. Launch was great too. Got on that power right away and just let her push me along. I've been flying about 30 minutes now. Not too long. I'm wondering South Carolina. Uh, when you kind of leave North Carolina and drop into South Carolina, really uh, not mountainous. Uh, depending on where you're at. Just came over where this uh, highway is. This is a bigger mountain here, but I might try to maintain this 2,800 feet, which will be like 1,800 feet AGL as I get further. And uh, it just cruise around. It'll give me an altitude. I can fly over this Class G Air Airport and look at things, but just look through my own wake there, so I'm maintaining good altitude. This was that McDonald's biscuit y'all saw me get in the morning. Really nice to have this on the flight, as you can tell. Good addition after that peanut butter and honey toast as well. So these are the most northern mountains in South Carolina. Uh, this next bit of video, you're going to see me doing some narration, and that's just because a lot of my GoPro audio turned out to be bad, which was kind of unfortunate. I came upon this really beautiful reservoir, which I was amazed by. Right here, I'm just kind of pointing out that I'm getting bounced around from all this rotor. 
And here's a little reservoir overflow here that I thought was pretty cool. So my ADSB wasn't working, so I got out of my shoulder harness, turned around, and did the old factory reset on it, unplugging the battery and plugging it back in. Here I was a little worried about the clouds. Thought a storm might come and it never did. There's one of my hourly fuel checks. And this is a buddy who was just following my trip, so I flew by to say, hey. Uh-oh, getting into some turbulence, or maybe I'm just bored because I know I'm gonna be flying for eight hours straight. I think it was more of the latter. And this is how I pee. Pretty cool. Didn't do it so well that time. Woo! Just released a bunch of pee. Oh. Hey, Mom. This is flying over Rutherford Airport. Checking out all the airplanes. It was pretty cool. Really good zoom on that uh, Samsung Galaxy S23. Here I'm peeing again. Doing a better job keeping it off my boot. But didn't really care before because it was waterproof. And you got to make sure you got them nutrients. I ate a lot. So since I started thermaling, we'll call it, because I'm actually at cruise power while thermaling, um, I've gained about 2,000 feet. This one's pretty good. It's a little unnerving to climb in a thermal while at cruise power, uh, because like I said in the last video, if something goes wrong, you take a wingtip collapse or something, uh, you, you know, you're, you don't have your throttle in your hands, and so, you need to basically rush to the throttle, get off power. If, if if something catastrophic happened, like, you know, your wing collapsed and then stuff starts getting in the prop, right? You don't want to prop to suck everything in. Uh, but once again, the reason I'm doing it is just because I'm trying to get over these mountains. And if I just try to maintain cruise uh, RPM, which keeps me straight and level, if I hit more sink on the way to my destination than I do lift, then I'm not going to make it over the mountain. So whenever I feel a thermal, I'm going to take the opportunity to cruise up in that, gain free altitude, and then continue at my cruise. And that way, when I do hit all that sink, at least I have altitude to give. Um, I'm just trying not to cheat myself out of the, the gas equation of this. I do need to start heading back soon because I've got about an hour to make it back to the airport. Just hit five hours and 45 minutes, which is... Actually, previously, my engine ran out at five hours and 40 minutes. So that just goes to show I've been more efficient than the previous Helix problem. Cloud base is not that high today. I wish it was a little higher so that way I could thermal a bit higher, but that's all right. But they are starting to form here. I imagine I'm about to get kicked with some turbulence, so let me get back to that. All right, I just hit six hours and I still have a pretty good amount of fuel, actually. So I'm pretty excited about that. But yeah, I've just kind of been following a cloud street here and some sink. I, I guess I have had some sink because I went from 4,000 to 37. I'm sinking right now too, but hopefully I can get under these a little bit. I've done a lot of caving in these mountains. It's good stuff. And I am just circling up to oblivion. I'm so happy uh, at cruise. So 4,400 feet right now is just at like 3,800. Found a real good thermal on the edge of these clouds. It's exactly what I need. Uh, <laughs> you can tell I'm pumped to get over these hills without using too much gas. And you might be well, like, well, that's cheating. No, I could have stayed down in South Carolina where it's like a thousand feet and not have to climb over any mountains. But I wanted to adventure, so I'm very happy I can get some free lift on the way home. And uh, what more of a gorgeous place to be doing it. See Chimney Rock in the distance. You can see the waterfall from the last of the Mohicans. I'll pull out my camera and get some shots of them. And so one of my fears did just happen. This thermal's kind of a beast. Oh, yep, look at that 850 foot per minute. And uh, I did have my wing search far and I looked, and while I was catching it, I looked up to the right and my wing tip collapsed a little bit, but I caught it. Um, so yeah, just, it's probably have my throttle in the hand. Because, like I said, I'm wrong. try not to get destroyed by these thermals. I didn't say anything at seven hours, but I hit it. I hit seven hours. Absolutely insane. Oh, yeah. Been sitting for a while. Woo! This is 
<laughs> Y'all should have seen me when I hit seven. Wow. I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Believe it or not, folks, I am about to cross over seven hours and 30 minutes. There it is. Wowzers. That's just crazy. <laughs> Giles Fowler said, looking good? Oh yeah, buddy, it's looking real good. Hope you're doing well. Let's check the fuel. And it looks good. Let's see where it's at. Oh my gosh, this thing is dissipic fuel. All right, I, I think we're approaching less than 20 minutes. I mean, I have to be at this point. Wow, this is insane. All right, <laughs> I'll turn the camera on in a little bit when it, if it, when or if it starts to stutter. Or of course, there's an if to that, and it will. <laughs> but yeah, I've come down a lot in altitude, about a thousand feet, next to the runway, ready to land. A lot of sink down here, unfortunately. So. I'm at a higher RPM than I want to be at. So I'm probably sucking some fuel. But yeah, I'm getting real close here. Uh, just kind of monitoring winds. It looks like it's going to be a crosswind landing. You can see that smoke out there. Just hit 745! Woo! Man, oh man. I might, I'm pretty low now. I, it's hard to maintain altitude right now. There's just so much sink. And I'm at like 7900 RPM, so I'm sucking fuel. Right, there it is. Here's some lift. Let's try to, st I'm not trying to stay in this. Also, I don't want the turbulence to just kill the engine. All this sloshing will do that. Right, it's motor died. I'll try to start it, see what we got. And she's out. Oh, uh, yep. She is done. And the official time is, wow, 7 hours and 50 minutes. Check it. That is just crazy. Okay. I did, luckily I was able to maintain cruise and, and catch a little altitude on a small thermal, a few hundred feet. So it gave me some time. Now I can um, put my phone away, which is nice. And get this last hook on the scout bag. All right, kickstrap stowed. This is good. Harness is good. <sighs> wow, I'm still floating here. Man, this is turning out to be like a seven hour and 50 some minute flight. Nobody's coming in to land or take off. Look at that prop just hanging out. This should be a good setup. This is unbelievable. It is what I don't even know what time it is, but I took off earlier. At, <laughs> I was out here but an hour before sunrise. Golly, seven hours and fifty minutes, almost eight hours of flight. How insane! Coming into the finish line. Oh my goodness gracious! Welcome to <laughs> yes, baby. <laughs> Oh my gosh! Oh yes! Woo! Just me and the grass here to celebrate! <laughs> there we go, 7 hours and 53 minutes. Phew! Oh, it's hot. But the motor's light. <laughs> 7 hours and 53 minutes. That is insane. I cannot believe that, honestly. Like. And I feel really good. Um, I think just the, the mixture of the kick strap, the food, the Gatorade, the water, stuff to do, views to see, like it really wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. And um, definitely could have made it past eight, but you know, you're limited by the fuel, but that is, that's almost not a limit. I mean, flying that much on 4.6 gallons is insane. Look at this. There might be a little bit in there, because yeah, see that? I don't know, might have been able to get eight if there was no sloshing. But everything still looks good. Yeah, I'll put some stats up for you guys. Uh, kind of speechless, don't know what to say. Maybe I'll have something more to say later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>